Hey everybody, Enosh here with some breaking Star Wars news. That's right, uh, it has just been just announced, I just saw for the first time, that Star Wars Episode Eight has now been pushed back to December 15th, 2017. Originally we were going to get it in May of 2017 in the summer, and now it looks like they've pushed it back. Now this is amid... Um, last week there were some stories that there were some rewrites being done on both Rogue One and episode eight, and uh, that some characters in episode eight were being downplayed to actually build up and give us more story on the characters that we met in episode seven, like Ray and Finn and uh, possibly Poe, uh, to kind of flesh those characters out instead of just introducing just new characters to us just to introduce new characters. Uh, we're still going to be getting those, but they won't be as fleshed out uh, as our heroes that we met in episode seven. So this is huge news because we had all been kind of excited about the fact that we were going to be getting Rogue One in December and then literally six months later getting another Star Wars movie uh, in Episode 8. Now, this kind of makes sense, though. you got to look at it for what it is. It makes sense in the fact that, uh, you know, they just totally blew it away this last December. And if Star Wars is going to be, if Disney is going to be releasing Star Wars movies in December, I think they're just going to blow up and kill every year because you can just basically give the box office to Star Wars. As long as they make good movies, we're going to see Star Wars movies in December, I think, from uh, for, for a good while. We, we may get some that come back in, in the summertime, but it proved to be just a great uh, time of the year for families to go to the movies, for people to go to the movies, and there was no competition. There was nothing to really fight against it, and uh, nothing that had really done that well ever, I mean before, when Star Wars did what it did this last December. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news here on That Star Wars Show. December 15th, 2017 is the new release date for Star Wars Episode Eight. What do you think about that? Are you are you kind of bummed? Are you kind of let down by the fact, or are you kind of are you kind of glad? Or does it make you feel a little more relieved that they have a little more time to put it together? I know you know we were supposed to get Episode Seven this last summer in 2015, summer of 2015, and we didn't. It got pushed back to December, and I think probably. It's a great thing that that happened. We all want to see Star Wars as soon as possible, man. I would go see it tomorrow if it came out, but sometimes. It's good to give it a breather, let there be some time in between. We're, we're still getting a Star Wars movie, uh, you know, this year, again, this December, and then again next December. It'll be interesting to see what they do going forward uh, if they go back to summer movies or if they continue this December trend. Now, some of the other things we want to talk about uh, that I already had planned for uh, this episode is uh, the Han Solo movie. Speaking of new movies coming out, will the Han Solo movie be released in December, or will we uh, see a return to summer with that? This, uh, the uh, Han Solo movie is uh, set to come out in 2018 and uh, is being directed by Phil Lord and Christopher Miller who did uh, the Lego movie and they've done some other stuff and so far they just knocked it out of the park with everything they've done. It's written by Lawrence Kasdan and John Kasdan and um, scheduled like I said to come out right now May 25th 2018. We'll see if that changes uh, but you know what I, I have some reservations about this movie. Uh, I'm hoping that this is a, is going to be a great movie. Uh, it is being written by Lawrence Kasdan and uh, John Kasdan, so I've got a lot of faith there. Lawrence Kasdan wrote The Empire Strikes Back, which is my favorite movie of all time, Star Wars or not. And he also wrote Return of the Jedi. He wrote he helped uh, co-write the the uh, Force Awakens that came out this last year. Uh, he did that with J.J. Abrams. So I definitely have a lot of faith in his writing ability. And like I said, Lord and Miller, they've done a great job so far. The Lego movie was brilliant. And um, I, I think that we could have a good thing here. My question is, do we really need a, a Han Solo uh, solo movie? You know, uh, for lack of a better term. Do we do we need that, that prequel that tells us the story of Han Solo before he became the smuggler and the rogue that uh, that we know and love? Uh, you know, there's, there's rumors that they want to cast this quickly so that they can get... Um, Han Solo into uh, a cameo for Rogue One. I'm just not so sure that's such a great idea. Uh, plus, when I look at the list of characters, uh, the, the list of uh, potential 
Han Solos. Uh, they came out last week. There was a short list that came out last week, and uh, we can just go down that. Uh, some of the names were Miles Teller, uh, Ansel Eggort, uh, Dave Franco, Jack Rayner, Scott Eastwood, Logan Learman, uh, Emery Collin, and Blake Jenner are just some of the names that have been mentioned after thousands of people auditioned. These are kind of the, the short list, they're saying. And it's just interesting because I look at some of these names and I look at some of these faces and I just don't see it. I, I don't see a lot of these people being able to pull that off. Now, um, in that list, I'll be honest with you, uh, Scott Eastwood, there's a possibility there. He's kind of got that rugged look. There might be something there. Um, I know, you know, if, if you've been following this movie at all, you know that uh, there's been a big fan push uh, for Anthony and Gruber. If you don't know who he is, uh, look him up on YouTube. Anthony and Gruber, he's a, he's a guy, he does a great Harrison Ford impersonation. He's awesome at that, but the question is, uh, uh, you know, can he hold a movie? He's not really held a movie by himself. He hasn't really been in much. He actually played uh, a young Harrison Ford in the movie Age of Adeline. And he did a great job in that movie, and so people are thinking, hey, he could really do a great job as Han Solo, but we have to remember that in a Han Solo movie, we're going to be getting Han Solo as a young man. He's not going to be a fleshed-out character the way that we have him now, so it's not good enough just to do a Harrison Ford impersonation. He's got to be able to add something to this character and really make it his own. So, you know, it's up in the air. I, I, he definitely looks the part, and he can definitely mimic the part. The question is, is... Can he add something else to it? But somebody else I just thought of, uh, you know, for uh, for the for the Han Solo role that I hadn't really thought of before, and that's Liam Hemsworth. He's got that look. He's uh, proven himself as an actor. It'd be interesting to see Liam take uh, the controls of the Millennium Falcon and uh, and do something with that. Who knows? But what do you think? of this Han Solo movie. What are your impressions? Do, are you looking forward to this? Uh, is this something that you think should be, you know, that, that we should get this movie? Or are you kind of on the fence like it, on it like me, you know, where you say, well, I'm a Star Wars fan, so I'll definitely be there when it comes out. My butt will be in a seat watching that movie, and uh, I'm sure I'll like it, and I'm really hoping that, it, that it'll be a great addition to the Star Wars, uh, uh, you know, legacy. But, you know, maybe you're saying like me, I, I don't know, so I'm not so sure that we really need it, you know. But let me know your comments. Leave them down in the comment section down below. Uh, then finally this week, uh, I want to talk about this uh, petition that's been circling the internet. Uh, you know, Colin Trevorrow is uh, set to direct episode 8, and Colin is the is the guy who directed uh, Jurassic World uh, this last year, and uh, I enjoyed Jurassic World. I, I didn't go in there thinking that I would. Uh, I, I went to go see it because my kids wanted to see it, and my wife wanted to see it, and I didn't go in with much expectations, but I came out really hyped for that movie. I thought they did a really great job with that movie. I thought Colin did a great job directing that movie. It was everything that it should have been. And uh, so he's directing episode nine. Uh, excuse me, I might have said episode eight. He's directing episode nine. And uh, unfortunately, there's been this petition that's gone around starting last week. A group of people who do not want Colin Trevorrow to, to direct episode nine. And they're, they're making a petition to bring back George Lucas to direct episode nine. I'm going to share with you my feelings on that. Look, first of all, I love George Lucas. George Lucas has created a world in which I absolutely love. I can lose myself in. I'm a collector of, of the ideas that he has, uh, has come up with. I, I love his movies, you know, even the prequels, man, you know, uh, with all the problems that the prequels had, I appreciate them for what they are, but let's be realistic about this. Okay. The man sold Lucasfilm and Star Wars to Disney. It's done, you know, and even though now George seems to have a little bit of regret uh, for that, when you look at some of the comments that he's made and some of the unfortunate comments that he's made, let's be realistic here, okay? George uh, directed a great movie in the original Star Wars A New Hope. It was awesome, but why was that? It was because he had to persevere through a lot of uh, trial and a lot of trial and error and things like that. And let's just be honest, he didn't direct much more for the next 20 years. And so I think with that, you get a little rusty in what you do. And then with just absolute power that he had for uh, the prequels with, with nobody really telling him no on anything, he had a lot of yes men. And you know, you mix that with being a little rusty in your directing, 
and it just did not work. And we got a lot of wooden performances from a lot of really great actors who have won plenty of awards and we know are good actors and actresses. And it just didn't shine through in those movies. And the dialogue wasn't that great. Look, we're in a new age of Star Wars, ladies and gentlemen. We need, we need new directors. We need people with new vision to continue and take the torch. You know, to continue the legacy that George started. But we don't need to be looking to the past. It's not a good idea to bring George back for Episode Nine. We sh- we don't need to take a big step backwards at the end when we're taking two steps forward. You know, we got Ryan Johnson who's directing Episode Eight. He's both writing and directing Episode uh, Eight, and he's writing Episode Nine. And J.J. Abrams is helping produce the whole thing. We we don't need to take a big step back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we need to move forward with the Star Wars legacy, with the Star Wars saga. And um, I just don't think that we would get that if we had George Lucas once again directing a Star Wars movie. I just don't think it would work. And I agree actually with what George said. He said, hey, you know what? When you break up with someone, you don't go driving past to see if they're home and see what they're doing. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think about these three stories? Big, huge news today. Star Wars Episode Eight is getting is getting delayed. It's going to be December 15th, 2017. What do you think of that? What do you think of the Han Solo movie and some of the names that have come up? I'd love to hear who you think could play Han Solo. And then, of course, also the last one. What do you think of this petition to bring back George Lucas? Do you think it's a good idea to bring George Lucas? You could possibly disagree with me. I don't care. And let me know where I'm wrong. Uh, maybe maybe you have a director in mind that you would rather see direct a Star Wars movie or direct a Star Wars movie in general. You know, I don't even think it would be such a bad idea with these anthology movies that at some point... You could have George Lucas come back and maybe direct an anthology movie, but not the saga movies for me. Anyways, I'd love to hear what you have to think. Please uh, hit the the like button, share this uh, video with uh, your friends and whoever else, and of course, subscribe to the channel for more great Star Wars news, all right? I look forward to bringing you more, and uh, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. We'll talk to you next time. May the Force be with you.